feet. So from this kind of meter or yard stance, turn the heels in, the feet out, roughly 45, 55-ish degrees. Loop the shoulders back, pull the heart forward, take an inhale, lifting the chest. And as you exhale, let your bum move back and down. Slide your forearms onto your thighs, maybe thumbs, first finger seal. I'm just gonna rock a little right to left, or maybe lift the toes ever so slightly. Emphasize getting the weight into the back half of the feet so they're not putting pressure in the knees. And allow your chest to move forward and through the shoulders. Not rounding, but maybe moving almost to parallel with the torso and the earth. Now hips move back. Slowly let the heart move forward and up. Stand up. You could cross the left wrist over the right. Lick your lips, swallow. Next exhale, you're going to sit your bum back and down, chest forward. To sort of make a muscle idea. Inhale, root and rise. Maybe let out a big sigh, clear what needs to go. <sighs> Keep going, inhale. <sighs> Five more. <sighs> Four. Three, two, and one. Now today, let's stand it up first. Let your hands come down. Let's check in with our foundation. You could, of course, just sit it on down and kind of cruise back to the forearms. You could also stay upright, harder. Maybe float the right heel up for a breath. Big maybe. Switching it. Maybe float the left heel up for a breath and big maybe. From neutral, maybe float both heels up and even stand up. And then whatever you're doing, you relax. Uh-huh, coming out of it. Little heel toe dance, step hop the last bit. Hmm. Let's bring one hand to the belly center, one to the heart center. What's referenced in Sanskrit as the Manapura and Anahata chakras. Practically speaking, a way to calm and soothe and brown. Maybe switching which hands where and if it applies or it's helpful. Take a breath count, something like a three or a four on the inhale. Holding it in up to that number. And then a three, four, five on the exhale. Holding it out might be the hardest part, so staying patient with yourself. always bump it up, bump it down, especially the kumbhaka portion, the retaining. It starts to feel stressful, it's a no-go. And then following that breath work, just allow your arms to release, maybe open the eyes if they were closed. Reorienting by using your drishti, that soft gaze. Breathing in, breathing out. 